up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back out again with another Giants video. And I just want to say on January 19th, I made a vid called Giants, please keep Kevin Zeitler. He's our best offensive lineman. January 19th, basically two months later, we're here and it's resurfacing that the Giants are planning to move on from Kevin Zeitler. Now, it's just a rumor. But we all know where there's smoke, there's fire. And also, even though I'm against the move, uh, money-wise, it is something that makes a lot of sense for the Giants to move on from him, whether through trade or by cutting. Because Zeitler, while I still wholeheartedly believe he's our best offensive lineman, he still makes you know quite a bit more than he should make. And the Giants are just strapped for cash right now in a really bad way, where, where we need to find money wherever in the world we can. Now, we're not in the worst situation in the league by far, no. We're actually like smack dab in the middle, I think. I think we're the team, the lowest team that's in the green. And then right after us is the first team that's in the red. I could be wrong about that, but I saw like a, a graphic on Twitter and on Instagram that had all the cap spaces in the NFL and the Giants were like smack dab in the middle. We were the lowest team in the green, meaning we were in the green, but we had the least amount of all the teams that had positive cap space because there are a lot of teams that have negative cap space. So we're not in a terrible position. We're just in a really, really tight position. And you can't exactly find an accurate cap number, by the way. I just want to say that, like, for example, overthecap.com has us at around 6 million. Um, several other sources and sites have us at around 10 million. The most accurate one I could find was from SpotRack that has us at around 2.5 million. And uh, Jordan Renan had us at around somewhere around 3 million. But I'm going to throw up the SpotRack and over the cap. Uh, numbers because those are you know those are the most trusted sites to go off from i'm gonna go with the 2.5 million because to be honest with you that sounds just about right for the giants now a lot of people mistake the estimated cap space for the top 51 to be the number that we have and it would be great if that's it because the top 51 is 10 million and 85 uh, thousand dollars which is a lot more than 2.5 million but you it's in the name that estimated cap space is just counting up all the cap numbers of the top 51 contracts on the roster on an nfl roster there's like what 90 people on a roster be, you know around this time before the season starts and then cuts would be made to get down to the 51 man the top 51 guys that actually go into the season but in the off season there's like 90 people on an nfl roster so you got to keep that in mind and you always want to work with the lower number because it's always safer to work with the lower number than to assume that you have more whatever the case is we got a lot of contracts that we need to figure out and need to make space for kevin zeitler comes up because he is the third most contract on the giants right now behind james bradbury and nate solder who we also got to talk about he's not going to be back with the giants even though he wants to play again we're i'm like 100 percent certain we're going to cut this guy because i don't see anybody trading for him just like i don't really see anybody trading for kevin zeitler and i still don't want to cut him like i said he's making more than he should but he's our most consistent offensive lineman and he is probably the best pass protector we have in general he's our best offensive lineman and we have no backup plan for him well hernandez still needs to really figure out what he's doing on that left guard spot i trust him for one more year but after this year you know depending on how he performs i'm either done with him or i'm rolling with him but hernandez is not a sure thing and i want to keep him on that left side and then shane lemieux while he was just a rookie and he has potential, at the end of the day is a guy that still has a lot to develop, especially on the pass blocking side of things. And I don't trust him to step up and carefully take over for Kevin Zeitler should Kevin Zeitler be off the team. So if you get Kevin Zeitler off, you're creating another hole on the offensive line. Like presumably, right? We want to assume in the best of circumstances that our left tackle is Andrew Thomas. And I do believe that. That our left guard is Will Hernandez. That our center is Nick Gates. And I believe that as well. I think we got left, I mean, left tackle and center for sure figured out. Is the right side that still have to that still has to be solidified. That right tackle spot, which is technically a hole as of right now, and the right guard spot, which with the way the cap is looking, might become a hole because of Kevin Zeitler. But we got to cut Nate Solder at some point. I'm be honest with you guys, as much as I want to go for the June 1st thing, which is when you cut him after June 1st, you're going to get more money. The thing is, we're not going to be able to use that money until after June 1st. You know, so that's really that's really a catch 22 situation so if the giants say to themselves they want to be somewhat active in free agency they're gonna have to cut them out 
if they said themselves they're not going to be that much active they're probably going to be looking to get a little bit of a bargain guys which would make sense considering once again the cast space we do have then they'll probably cut him after june 1st that frees up depending on when he gets cut six and a half mil which is not that much but it's something and then of course kz frees up depending on when he gets cut two and a half mil once again these numbers are uh, per spot rack and then another player that we should definitely keep in mind and this would be more so of a trade would be evan ingram because evan ingram is already somebody that we all want off the team and, and just realistically speaking if we if we're to go into this offseason and we do get a couple wide receivers we can afford to let evan ingram go and we could afford to roll into this season with caden smith but evan ingram really needs to be traded and, and i mean somehow some way if we could find a trade partner for kevin zeitler then i would do it i don't think we can unless there's a really really desperate team out there even more so desperate than us with their offensive line that would give up like a fourth or a fifth for him i'll take it it's not ideal but i'll take it and then with evan ingram i know for sure there's at least one team out there that will be looking at him and saying that we could use him we could utilize him and he won't be our number one target but he's going to be an effective second or third guy you know i'm thinking about teams like the bills like the packers like the Saint. actually maybe not the saints even though they let go of jerry cook you know they're trying to free up cap space maybe not the saints but but maybe the saints who knows but there's going to be a team out there in my opinion that would trade for Evan Ingram. And if you could get a third for him, which I think is the highest you could ever get for him at this point, if you could get a third, do it. With that third pick, I'll be much more comfortable letting go of Kevin Zeitler because you could use that third to get a replacement for him or you could use you know the first or second well not the first hopefully not the first you could use the second and get a replacement for him and get use that extra third for whatever you're going to use the second for. You know what I mean? You guys know, based off my mind drafts in the second and third round, I love to go linebacker and corner or corner then linebacker. You can still do that if you have an extra third round pick and still get a very good starting quality guard to come in and take place for Kevin Zeitler. But that would mean you're going to have to trade Evan Ingram to do so. And that also frees up cap if we do trade him. But it, we're just in a tight spot right now, right? We're in a really tight spot right now. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing with Nate Solder. Kevin Zeiler, I don't want him gone because you're, you're going to create another hole. And as of right now, there is no legitimate backup plan. But if they could figure out a way to get a trade going, whether it's trading Evan Ingram or just trading KZ himself, which is not really in the cards, in my opinion, that's the way to go. And I'm looking at Logan Ryan. Logan Ryan, who's currently a $7 million cap hit, who wasn't a necessary re-signing that we had to do, but the Giants did it on Christmas Day. We had two safeties. Everybody kind of scratched their head when we signed Logan Ryan. This, this has been a topic of talk since he was re-signed. We really missing that million, that $7 million right now. He's not a necessity, but he's here. And it makes me wonder, uh, the Giants are not, it's not really their style, but is it even possible that we could probably trade Logan Ryan despite re-signing him just a couple months ago? I don't think so. But if we're looking at it as just, you know, objectively looking at it and objectively just looking at the numbers, he should be somebody in play as well because we don't need him. All right. We don't need him on the field. His leadership qualities absolutely is something amazing. But just looking at it on the field, it's like, yo, we could really survive without you, Logan Ryan. And your cap hit is something that we could use. Either way, whatever the case is, like I remember a couple of days ago, I tweeted it out on Twitter that our cap space is more strapped than people think because everybody was out here thinking, oh, don't worry, we're going to be up to like $40 million in cap space after we do a couple restructures and cut a couple of players. And it's just like, no, we're probably not going to hit $30 million. That's just how it is. And, and the tweet that I tweeted out involved mostly Leonard Williams saying with the way the cap is looking at right now, the Giants don't have too much. Williams is going to have to walk. Bro, I'm not even sure if we have enough to sign even Dalvin anymore. Like, for real. It's just a really tough situation. But Leo, I mean, my stance on him was I would always love to have him back. But if he wants more than 20 mil, it's not doable. As of right now, we're sitting at 2 mil in cap space. Leo, you might have to walk. Uh, and another trade scenario. I talked about the KZ trade scenario. I talked about the Evan Ingram trade scenario. If we could tag and trade Leo, that's also another win. I'm sure we could get some for Leonard Williams. There's going to be a team that gives up some for him. If you could tag and trade him, that's just a win. But you guys, put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. We're kind of in a tough position right now. If you got any ideas to propose, put them down there. That's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.